Got my little truck day bag here that you may have seen in a video I did on it, and it's what I've got in it. If not, check up here, we'll have a link to it. And I'm gonna make a little room in it for my camera. So take a few things out that I may not need and just make just enough room for the camera. Put a little another water on there. Okay, here we go. We're heading out and I catch an animal trail here that we've my brother Mad Mikey and I have been down a lot. And uh, first thing we're gonna head up to is a spot up here where we, about two years ago, had a trail cam out for about two years to watch the traffic on this animal trail here before we went hunting up here for deer once. So we're gonna go up there and check that spot out first. And there's the truck back there as we head on up. I think you can see a little more prominently where the uh, animal trail is. Goes up, it kind of follows, there's a fence there and it kind of runs along that fence line. Oh man, to get under that thing. Whew. And here's where Right on this post here, where my brother and I had a trail cam for about a year, just to see what's going on out here. And that trail, we came up that way, goes right through there, and I'll show you, it goes down in a little valley here. So this gets a lot of traffic, of course cows too, but uh, here's the shot, when we had the camera here, here's a shot of the best deer we on here we'll show you that of course we didn't see him when we hunted <laughs> as usual but uh, he was a nice one so let's uh, head on over this way okay here is uh, here's where that trail comes by and goes on down into this valley are kind of disperse. Fence is right there behind the camera. So now I'm going to show you another spot from up here shoot down to where we made a blind one year for coyote hunting, a brush blind. One reason I came out here today is see if it's still there and um, rebuild a little bit. Get ready for some coyote hunting coming up. Okay, I just walked back over to this fence line here and down this way is where the camera was, a little down there. Then down in this valley, I don't know if you can see it right in there in the middle. We made a little brush blind. It looks like it's beaten down quite a bit. So we're going to head down there next, check on that and show you why we put it there for our coyote hunting. Beautiful day today. This area down here where we're heading to the coyote thing down there, um, pretty good for deer too. We had to put a normal blind up there uh, for a while. Didn't get anything, but we've seen deer travel through this area. There's a water hole way back over there. There's a ranch way back that way. A lot of them come through this valley that we'll probably head back out on and cut through here. Okay, now we're getting down into this valley here. Over here is where this uh, brush blind was. There's still some left there. Need a little refreshing before using. 
and over this way kind of like a little ravine where the deer wander up through there uh, and this kind of comes to a little rise out here and there's another lane uh, coming through over there where they travel so that's a pretty good spot and here's what's left of the brush blind been beaten down pretty good the rain and snow weather it's probably two years ago it did this so it's gonna need some refreshing enough space behind in there for my brother and I to sit in there and call in some coyotes and we'd put a uh, decoy out here try to bring them in I'm looking forward to doing that again there's some lane coming in there then over this rise a lot of territory for animals to wander through this is where we actually put a blind one season for deer hunting over here left kind of thick back over in here but still if you were sitting here Yeah, right there is where we had a normal blind one year. Left it out here for a week or so. Did some unsuccessful deer hunting. Go back to the coyote blind. Here's the view from sitting in the coyote blind. Uh, good visibility. I have a decoy out there and bring a coyote in there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I don't see much uh, fallen brush or trees around right now to um, redo this blind here. Probably have to wait till after this winter, get some trees that are fallen and branches broken off. So, I'll walk around and look a little closer, but last time when we built this, it was everywhere. It's dead stuff. Yeah, there's just not much around. Right now. And right back up there on that ridge there is where we were with that fence line and where the trail cam was. Pretty quiet out here today. I haven't seen any rabbits, nothing. Had to peel a shirt off. It's getting a little warm here. So now, we can head back this way. Yeah, around here is where I got a lot of that brush last time, all around this area right here, but there's nothing. He'd think somebody came out and cleaned it up. Man, what the hell? I don't know if it's in focus or not, but here's what we used when we deer hunted out here that year. Because we were coming in here at the dark in the morning and then in the evening heading out at uh, dark. I had this uh, reflective string here and I had some reflective tape on the end that since rotted away thought I pulled all these down but that's what I used to mark the way in put these every so often we could hit it with the light it just light up like a headlight found some smart pills my old uncle Ed used to tell us when we were little those are smart pills what do you mean smart pills you go pick one up and eat it see how smart you get Pick one up, ate it. He's like, that tastes like shit, Grand Uncle Ed. He said, see, you're getting smarter already. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Here's another one of the markers that I thought I had got all of. This is a red reflective tape here. And the red helped for during the day, finding a way. And the reflective part 
for night. Now, let's see which way. I see another red one down there. I'm picking all these up on the way out. We can put them out again when we get ready to come out here at night and do some coyote hunting or something. So let's go grab that one. This has some of the red and the uh, string here that has the reflective threads in it. That's some pretty good stuff. Let's pull these down. Got off the trail there for a while, but I kind of recognize this little ravine here. I'm thinking I here pretty soon to be able to see the little weird truck in the distance. So I think I'm heading the right way. Didn't see any more markers, so. Let's get around this tree here, see. Yeah, there's the truck. I got a little off. If you can see it out there. Where is it? Where's that red? Can't see it in the viewfinder, but it's out there. I'm sure you see it. So yeah, I got off a little bit. Um, Should have come out a little up that way, closer to the truck. But I'm good, I'm not lost. Here's an old uh, Arizona cedar tree stump that I came out here one time and you see that white spot there. I Sawed off a little slice of it there and made me a couple pins in the little weird shop. Came out pretty nice. There we go, we're getting there. There is a little weird truck. Where'd it go? Oh, I sure can't see that thing in the viewfinder. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Not focusing very good. Yeah. All right, gang, we're back. That's a little weird truck. Thanks for coming along. We'll be going on a few more adventures. Some hopefully a little more exciting than this, too. So, till next time. Catch you later.